Wow, I am really talking a lot about sinking funds lately. Maybe it's because I love them. Hi, I'm Wendy Valencia. Today I am going to talk to you about our sinking funds, like exactly where we have them and exactly how much we have in them. I'm getting all personal up in there today. It's always personal on this channel. There's nothing not personal on this channel. So where should you keep a sinking fund? Well, actually a sinking fund can be cash or it can be electronic. That is up to you. I know people that do both. For us, we use Capital One 360. And what Capital One 360 allows you to do is break out your one account in up to, I believe, 25 little accounts and you can rename them to whatever you want to call them. So for us, I actually rename them to the sinking fund that we're saving for. It helps a lot when you're trying to match up amounts to every dollar. For us, electronic sinking funds are perfect. We have a checking account that's linked to those savings accounts. So if we ever need to use our sinking fund, it doesn't get all mushed in with our regular budget, which is a lifesaver in my world. So which accounts do we have and how much do we have in them? I know everybody wants to know. So our checking account has four cents in it because I apparently did not transfer all the money over. I don't know why, because I just didn't. There was money left over from our last emergency where we needed to use a sinking fund. And I, for whatever reason, I transferred the dollars, but not the cents. I don't know. Usually I don't do that. The first one is our car repair replace fund. And that one is $442 and 44 cents. That one is low because of the pothole incident of 2017. Yeah, I'm proud. The cart repair replace fund really needs to sit at $3,000 as a minimum. We are not planning on replacing our car until after we are out of baby step two. The next one is the emergency trip to Columbia sinking fund. And that one has $733.19. We're going to try and keep it at least $3,000. We'd love to have $6,000 in it. That way, if there was an emergency, we could all go to be supportive for the family, but at least 3,000 so Mauricio can go if he needs to go. We have the work travel expense fund, which is $1,003.06, and that one is full. That one should never ever have to be funded again because the plan with that one is while I'm traveling or Mauricio's traveling, we pay our expenses on the trip out of that and then when it gets reimbursed, we just put it right back in there. So we always have $1,000 in that account ready at the go. That way we don't screw up our budget when we have to travel on official business. The next one is our medical sinking fund. And this one is used to cover the $750 deductible at the beginning of each year. And it also covers my neck injections that I get every three months for dystonia. I have a whole video on that if you want to check that out. The medical sinking fund currently has $602.48 in it. The next one is my personal favorite, the Christmas sinking fund. This has been a godsend to us every year at Christmas time because I get paid bi-weekly. We always have two additional paychecks every year one at Christmas and one around July. And every year the month changes a little bit. And we historically have used that third paycheck in December to cover Christmas gifts. But every year it screwed up my budget. Every year, every year. And so we decided to go away from that and we now have a sinking fund and we just drop the money in when it's time to start shopping in November. The Christmas sinking fund is supposed to sit at $1,200 for Christmas. And the reason it's $600, not $500 for May is because we didn't, we put the $100 for December in, but we didn't use it in December because we had bought all the Christmas presents in November, by November, I should say. Um, that's the other bonus about this thing is having all this money available for Christmas. If during the summer I see something really awesome on sale, I can go ahead and buy it. That's a huge win. The e next one is Melina's Miscellaneous School Fund, which covers the just 
absolute hemorrhage of money that occurs at the beginning of the school year, just before school starts, school supplies, new clothes, all of that. It was painful last year. We had never experienced that before. So we decided to go ahead and start saving it. I must have really done the math wrong and I just realized it last month. I was only saving $25 a month to that. So I bumped that up some for June. And so you'll see that increase. It won't really factor in this year, but it'll factor in next year, which is good. The next one is a really close second to Christmas sinking fund. I love, love, love the sinking fund. And that is the summer camp sinking fund. Why? Because we instated the summer camp sinking fund last year, we were able to save almost $1,000 on summer camp expenses for this summer. I am upping that with the extra $100 that I won't be putting into the work expenses sinking fund. I'm gonna be upping that to 200 because summer camp we use as essentially daycare for Melina while Mauricio and I are at work. And so it's, you know, it's not a luxury, it's a necessity in our house. And it runs, you know, $3,000-ish. And so if I can up it to $200 a month, we would have $2,400 at the end of every year. In the summer camp sinking fund, we have currently $520.76. And that's because we just used them in February. And summer camp is 100% paid for. The next sinking fund we have is our 10th wedding anniversary fund. And right now we have $903.04. So our sinking fund for our 10th wedding anniversary is so Mauricio and I can take like a little weekend trip somewhere to do something special. We're super excited about it. We were really hoping to be debt free by our 10th wedding anniversary. We had these grandiose plans, but yeah. I, reality quickly set in as to how long this process was going to be so maybe 20 years or 25 years we'll be able to go on a really good trip and then also in capital 1360 we have our emergency fund and that currently sits at one thousand forty three dollars and twenty six cents and this is our starter emergency fund. Once we have a fully funded emergency fund, we will keep it here as well. So I bet you're wondering why my numbers are odd. Maybe you're not, maybe you've realized it, but in Capital One 360, it's interest bearing and it accrues at a fairly high rate for a savings account. It's pretty, actually pretty impressive. So the odd numbers and the change are from interest. So do you have sinking funds? How do you have them? Do you have them cash? Do you have them electronic? Do you like them? Open yeah. the door. I gotta tell you the funniest thing, Melina, the other day, she got into my makeup and she decided that she was going to do her makeup with my makeup brushes. <gasps> it was hilarious. She comes running down the stairs like this. It was the funniest thing. And then she was so proud of herself. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out. <laughs>